Today's video, we've got these three items here, a couple of radiators and an X-ray viewing machine. They've just failed the pack test, so we're going to go through, explain why they've failed, and then get them repaired. Right, so this first one that failed, this is a um, negative scope or whatever it's called, it's basically for putting your x-rays on and you view it through it. So this was wall mounted and it had a cable that was longer than this, I shortened that, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So anyway, if we put it on the test there, I'll just have a look at this, you see that screen? So we passed everything visual, that was perfectly fine. So it's going to do a earth test, so if we put that on, we're putting that onto something metal, so we're trying to screw. If you see that, it didn't get a very good read, and we'll try another one. So restart test, get on that screw. So that should be 0 0.1 ohms, 0 0.36, 0 0.37. Just not getting a good, a good reading at all. We can try onto the metal. If we, so what you're meant to do, I always do it at the back. You're meant to screw up a little bit of paint off, get down to the metal like that, and we'll try it again on there see if we get a better reading. You will just press that green button there Jack. Yep. No point six no, see. So we'll fail. So initially I changed the plug on this because it was that was, that was wall mounted and it was plugged into a socket just next to it and there was masses of cable on so I thought I'll shorten that, that'll obviously help the resistance a bit. New plug top on, exactly the same. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this to bits because there's obviously something wrong inside, probably just a bad earth connection. So we'll strip this down and we'll see if we can find the fault. Right, so we've got the front of this. Now we can see inside there's nothing to it, just a couple of fluorescent tubes. But if you look down here, there's your earth wire coming in. So what I'm going to do first of all, is I'll just run a test on that directly to this terminal, just to check the cable and things are okay. Just have to bear with us while I log this on. Assuming that everything's okay at that, then we'll probably just redo that connection, probably find under that pop rivet it's not had the paint removed and they've just clipped it down down to that yeah. right so I'm going to onto that earth terminal click pass all for the visual and hopefully we'll get a reasonable read and there you go absolutely perfect I'm going to let it do that and I'll stop that right so we know that obviously the plug cable everything's fine just this connection here to the actual appliance right what I'm going to do now then, I'm going to drill that pop rivet out and then we can check the connection underneath. Turn that off a hammer. There's that off. I'm going to have to drill that actual pop rivet out a bit better but if you look there I don't really think you can see obviously there's no paint cleaned off they just drilled a hole through so that's probably why it's not got a good connection you'll probably find that was powder coated after the hole was drilled anyway so it was probably a very very poor connection to that anyway so I'm going to drill this out now I was hoping that would have just popped straight through but it hasn't Right, there you go, if you have a look at that now you can see I've got that out so we'll clean up some of this paint off here and then we'll reconnect that to there. What I'm going to do, I've got my 
old Black & Decker power file. I'm just going to clean this little bit of paint off just around where that terminal connects. And if I do it left handed I think I'm all that out the way. Unless I tell you what, you know, all that there Jack. Move that terminal out the way. Right. I'm just going to wipe that off, make sure it's a nice clean surface, and then we're going to re pop rivet that terminal to there, and hopefully, we'll get a decent read. And then, that's done it, that's better. Right, there's that on. Right, so what I'm going to do before I build all this back up, we'll spin it around. We'll put those original screws in. We did start taking it to bits from the back, thinking that that back panel came off, but it doesn't. So we'll put those screws back in and we'll do another test onto these screws and just see if that has made a Made yeah, a difference. Right. There we go. So we're looking for a better reading now, hopefully. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Right. So what we'll do now, I should have turned this printer on. Right, so my printer's connected, so I'm gonna call that X-ray machine, save. Come on, run slow, print. That should hire a ticket out there. We'll pop that on. What that just goes to show, this has already been tested before, there's no way that that'll have passed that, that test like that. That hasn't just happened overnight. So someone's passed it when it shouldn't have been passed, I would say. Right, that's that one done. I'll get this front panel and that back on and then we'll move on to the others. Right, so that's the X-ray machine all done. We're now on to these radiators. Now we didn't even bother doing the pad test on them to start with. These failed just visually, obviously wheels missing. Where's that one from? That's one of the original ones. So I think that one had one wheel missing, but they both had one wheel missing, so I've had to fail those, obviously they're not stable, could fall over or what have you, so not really electrical, but still dangerous, if they were to fall over, I don't know whether, whether they would cut out or whether they could cause an electrical fault or what have you, anyway, that's why we failed them, I'll not waffle on too much, so what we're going to do, I've bought some new wheels, we're going to try and get these, these repaired, Right, so I've got some new wheels here that I got off Amazon there, so I'm hoping we're going to be able to bolt those on. These ones here on that radiator there, they've sort of riveted on, that one might straighten up. And the one on the back, that had a hole in where it snapped off, so we should be able to straighten that up and bolt these wheels on as long as we have the same size so it sits stable, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. sit a slightly different height to the original ones but what we're going to do one of these wheels that came off of this radiator is the right height to go onto this 
one here. We tried it on, it's all sitting a bit skew if because all that's bent. So I'm going to try and straighten that out in the face. I've got a little bit of metal there. I hope I can just put that on and just tap this and get that straightened off. So yeah, it's nice and flat now, so hopefully the wheel will sit a bit straighter. Yeah, that'll be fine. So this one here, what we've done, we've used one of the old wheels off of here because they were the right height, straightened that up and bolted that on there, straightened these wheels out the best we can, it's it's pretty much stable, not 100% but it's certainly better than it was on three wheels before. So what we're going to do with this one, is we're going to fit the four new wheels, as you can see they are slightly different height, that's why I've had to use the the old ones, not much, just about 10 mil or so, or 5 mil. But we'll fix these new ones onto there. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to put the new wheels on. So it's going to be a, a wheel with a washer on, through there, another washer on the back. And we're going to use these nylock nuts, and tighten them down so hopefully they won't rattle loose. So a slight change of plan, we're going to have to put a couple of extra washers under there because we found that when they're that space, these wheels are catching the frame so they're not going to spin around perfect. So we're going to take this back off and pack it out with a couple of extra washers just to give it that extra height. There, yeah, so what we found four washers on the bottom, and you still get one on the top, and the nylock just grips and they spin around. So, Jack's one get the other with the three on, and then all should stand up nice and nice and level and stable. Right, so we've got the wheels fitted on these, they're both stable now, so now I want to do the pack test on them. So first of all, I'm going to have a quick visual, check everything, just feel down the cable, check that that's okay no damage. Check the fuse, there's not a bit of tin foil or whatever wrapped in, that's fine, got the correct fuse in for that. And we're going to plug it in to the machine. Again, when we're doing the earth test on this, we want a piece of metal um, that's good to, to test on, so you have to scratch it a little bit off. I like to do it somewhere where it can't be seen too much, so we'll take a little bit off, let's see if we can, that will hopefully get it, just a tiny little bit, check that it's switched on, so now we're going to go to the machine, I'm going to pass all that to visual, I'll get this held on there first, we'll pass all and hopefully, right, start this again, I haven't scraped enough off there, so Get right down to the, the metal, I think there's a bit of black or whatever on, so I'm going to hold that on there nice and tight, restart the test. There you go, it's a good reading, you can see it's green. There we go. Let's pass, so that's oil filled radiator. Out and we'll stick that on. There we go. It's not one. It's not one done. I'll take that old sticker off the top floor. There we go. I took that off the wrong one, there, haven't I? <laughs> not to worry. Needed to come off the rest. There's this one. There's this one done. 
take the original feel sticker off and then go there it'll be exactly the same on that one right there we go this one's been pack tested jack did this one uh, all passed perfect so we'll take these back down to surgery along with that x-ray machine so thanks very much for watching if you haven't already subscribed if you could subscribe that would be much appreciated. Also smash the like button and all that lot. So thanks very much. We'll see you on the next one.